In July uh, this year, my organization organized uh, a site event at the 53rd session of the United Nations uh, Human Rights uh, Committee. And uh, in organizing, so organizing these events at the UN is one of the most complex, I think, uh, processes anyone can ever be engaged in. I don't know if that is a, a, a part of the design to reduce the number of people that uh, engage in the processes or what, but it is so complex, it is so uh, difficult, yet it is a very uh, important uh, process. So over the years, I think my organization had been attempting without success uh, to make uh, presentations at the UPR, UPR and other UN uh, engagements. So for this year, we decided to write on our GFMD uh, membership uh, we reached out to the GFMD secretariat and we got permission uh, to use uh, the GFMD uh, ECOSOC uh, accreditation. And uh, I think it, it really made our work very easy. It enabled us to organize uh, what I believe was a very effective uh, event on the status of the right to access to information uh, in Zambia. Uh, maybe just uh, to to emphasize that uh, so, uh, the, like I did mention at the beginning that uh, getting access to the UN, even just entering the premises yeah, is a lot of uh, uh, is a lot of work, but with the GFMD uh, accreditation uh, with the EcoSoc observer status, I think it made our life easy because through LoRa, we were able to do a lot uh, of uh, the background work uh, I think she did most of the difficult uh, stuff. And then for us, it was just to show up and uh, present uh, ourselves. And also maybe just to uh, mention that uh, just accessing uh, an event alone or just being accredited alone is not enough because when you get accredited, then you also need to deliver a quality uh, event. And I think that then took us to what I believe was the second benefit of us being GFMD members, which, uh, as you know, like the GFMD has a very wide uh, resource base. Like there is all kinds of literature, all kinds of evidence-based information uh, that the GFMD has uh, compiled uh, over the years and across our region. So we were able to select, uh, to pick uh, some of the relevant information and that then uh, informed our engagement with uh, the different stakeholders. These were diplomats, civil society leaders, uh, government representatives, and all kinds of uh, of groups. 